can you share that moment of realization when you actually said, now is the time to take the steps to become a doctor? Can you share a little bit about that? Describe that moment. Yeah, absolutely. So I pretty much knew at one point I definitely didn't want to become a doctor. That was the original, you know, it's funny. Um, it pinpoints back to one one key moment I remember when I was downtown. Uh, this, this, I was in Camden at one point in my life. I was in, you know, outside all day. So I was in Camden one day and it just clicked in my mind. And when we say downtown, it's not like downtown from other cities. Cause our downtown, it's a small area of downtown where you got the college and you got like Campbell soup and that's pretty much it. You know, downtown in, in Camden is more so like a residential area, like a neighborhood. So I was downtown and I remember just being in the car, just actually I'm in a car right now. I remember it's kind of like bringing me a little flashback. I remember looking outside the street and just seeing around and just thinking that Number one, this is a beautiful city. Number two, there's a lot of amazing, real solid and thorough and honorable people here. And number three, that the struggles that we go through is just all related to not being healthy in one way or the other. Whether it's physically healthy with our with our health, like what we call health, but also like our mental health, our spiritual health, our financial health. Uh, you know, and I was just thinking, like, really, what we just need is a healthy relationship with ourselves, a healthy relationship with women, healthy relationship with violence, a healthy relationship with being able to earn. And it just clicked in my mind that, you know, that we just got to be healthy. It's like we have good hearts, but bad habits. You know what I mean? And that, that's really the moment that I, I, I realized how important health was. This was probably back in. I don't know, 07, summer 07, that's when I was outside every day. I wasn't involved in school or nothing like that. I just was around, um, you know, at that point in my in my life, that kind of clicked. Then fast forward a little bit, because it wasn't just the automatic, like, okay, that's what I should do to, that's what I'm going to do. That, that's also a whole nother process. Like, man, if I had to try to take that and make that into as little words as possible, I would just say, the lifestyle I was leading, I felt like it was de- not nah, feel like like it was destructive, and it created a lot of tension and strain, not only within myself, but within my loved ones and everything. And a lot of people don't talk about that, about the stress and the strain that it puts on the people who love you. And you know, just overall, you know, you in, in a real stressful situation, but we know how to hide it well. So we, yeah, I mean, you probably couldn't tell from the outside looking in, but it led me to a place of deep of depression. Like I put in pain and that pain is something that registered on my, in my soul and you become numb to it. And I basically understand, you know, I lived that. So I say that to say this, it led me to a deep, dark place. And that made me call out to God. So then I established, uh, well, I didn't go to no religion, no book, no nothing. I just went to, to the one and true living God inside inside everything, including inside me. And it led me to, it just made me want to live clean, pure, work hard, get back into school. I had stopped going to school, um, go back to school, learn, read, and all that. And then like a miracle happened when I actually put that, you know, put that into practice and fought against, and it's a battle. And you can't get aside away from the fact that you have to fight against your own inner demons, you know what I mean, the bad habits. So I fought that fight by God's grace. God gave me the strength to actually even acknowledge it was a fight and the strength to fight it. Then I ended up getting back into school. That's a whole nother story that's a little deep and everything. But long story short, if I can, is got back into school. Then like a miracle, I actually got back into school and then graduated and I wanted to I was at a decision making point is like, do I want to be, I really wanted to be a teacher and I really do want to be a teacher um, in Camden. Like, I feel like that's a little bit more hands on with you. And I really do honor and respect the teachers and I love the teachers, but I realized like my mom wanted me to be a doctor and they say in Islam that, you know, heaven is at the feet of the mother. Um, 
you know, you got to honor and respect your mom. That's what she wanted. So that kind of played a little bit of part into it. I realized that's what God wanted for me, basically. And I didn't really want to do it fully, but I realized that's what I had to do. And then I was once the type of person I like to like embrace challenges. I kind of always chose the struggle route in my life. And I realized like if I become a teacher, I can't turn around and become a doctor. But if I become a doctor, I can turn around and become a teacher. So it's like, all right, this is what we're going to do. And then I pretty much applied and got into school. I wasn't going to get into school around here because, you know, my grades definitely wasn't over here. Getting into medical school around here. Uh, I got into school in, in Poland. I got accepted. It was one of those schools that kind of was accepting anybody at that time. And you get financial aid through FAFSA. And I just took the flight to Poland and started medical school. And I've been on a journey ever since. That was summer 2007. I was in the in the hood every day on the corner. And then I was, uh, you know, like just not involved in anything academic or anything like that. And then summer 2008, October 2008, I was in medical school.